have to go. Oh, just because you love you so. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus is the one. Yes, he's the only one. Oh, let him have his way until the day. He speaks, you'll know, dark clouds will have to go. Oh, just because you love you so. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Giving God thanks again. So glad to see Pastor Cynthia Green out of our Franklin Avenue branch. Also glad to see Pastor and Marie Drummond out of Hackensack, New Jersey, and all of God's children. Uh, Pastor Ian out of Jamaica, God bless you, sir. And to Sister Tanya, God bless you, God bless you. So we're so glad uh, that we're able to join again at this high time of noon, just to come together to equip ourselves for this great convocation. I'm just going to open with prayer and then I will be reading two scriptures coming from the book of Acts. And if you can, and if you have your Bibles and you're able to, I will ask you just to join with me as I read. Let us bow our heads, Father, in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks for yet another day. One writer said, this is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. God, here we come in this great convocation under the banner, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And God, if there's ever a time society, if ever a time humanity, if ever a time this world needs the Holy Spirit, it is now. As we can see, God, where the hearts of men are failing them for fear. And Jesus Christ, oh God, when the disciples became fearful, oh God, tell us uh, what shall be the signs of thy coming. Where are you going, Jesus? He said, I will leave with you a comforter. Father God, the Holy Spirit you said, Lord God, when the spirit of truth is come, it shall lead us and guide us into the way of all truth. And those, God, who have not yet received the baptism, O oh God, of the Holy Spirit, I pray, God, that even now, God, during this workshop, O oh God, if they set their mind at the place, the Bible said, if you believe on him according to the scriptures, then out of your belly, will out of your belly shall flow river.
Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Sorry for that little delay. All right. We just spoke to uh, Pastor Faulkner, and uh, she will be joining at 1. There have been some slight miscommunication. So what I'll do, I'm just going to read uh, these two texts. And uh, uh, at 1230, we'll take a little break, and we come back at 1. All right. So we'll leave the conference up. Going to have Vanessa pretty much uh, maybe just play uh, one of the teaching from last night with uh, Dr. Uh, Davis, and uh, we can use that as a filler. And then at one o'clock, we get right into the financial seminar. So I just want to read for you from the book of Acts. Acts simply means the actions of the apostles. And this book was written by Luke, uh, the only Gentile author of these books. As you know, when these books were canonized, uh, they have identified 40 human authors. And we know they wrote inspired by God, God Jesus being the author of these six, six books. The book of Acts uh, is the second vision of the Bible that's called the New Testament. And after the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, then we go right into uh, the book of Acts. It's also uh, categorized as a historical book speaks to the, the history of the church. And when we look at the word history, we break it down into two words, his story. It's a story about Jesus. So if you got your Bibles, okay, let's look at Acts chapter one. And we're dealing with, in this great convocation, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The, the former treaties of I, O Theophilus, have I made of Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up from after that through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he had showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, he commanded that they should not depart from Jerusalem headquarters, but wait for the promise. We learned last night about the promise of the Holy Spirit, the promise of the Father, which said he, he have heard of me, for John truly baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. And when they therefore come together, they ask of him saying, Lord, can you imagine saying three and a half years been with this man? He told him to forsake all and they left their secular career. Some were fishermen by trade, some were tent makers, uh, some were tax collectors, and some were carpenters. And these were their, 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 their trade. And they left all of that, having the promise that one of these days he will build a kingdom and uh, each of them will have one of these tribes to rule over. Now hear what verse six says. When they therefore were come together, they ask of him saying, Lord, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power, but he shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. As you can see here in this particular text, the Lord God gave them clear instructions, the purpose for the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's the power, the empowerment to witness. And that word power comes from the Greek word dudamus, we get the word dynamite and the power to witness uh, unto me both. And when you see the word both there, you know, when we do our English, uh, when you list two things, you use both. But here we see Jerusalem, 
we see Judea, we see Samaria, and we see the utmost part of the earth. Now, he was talking about the Gentile and the Jewish nation. As you know, uh, categorize the nation in two categories, Jews, the Israelites, or God-chosen people, and everyone else are considered Gentiles. So the Jews were primarily in Jerusalem and Judea. Now the church moved to Samaria and then to the utmost parts of the world. Verse 9, Acts chapter 1, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner, and he shall have seen him go into heaven. Verse 12, then return they unto Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come, they went into the upper room where abode Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, Zelotes, and Judas, the brother of James. And they all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Again, saints see the importance here of prayer, the importance of supplicating and you see the value of women here in the ministry. They continued, not just the 12, but the Bible made it clear that there was 120 in the upper room. Verse 15, Acts chapter one. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said the number of the names together were about 120. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spoke before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus. For he was numbered with us and obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. What a debt. And it was known unto all the dwellers of Jerusalem in a so much that the field is called in their proper tongue, Akla Dama, Al Sel Dama. This is to say the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein and his bishopric let another take. Wherefore, of these men which had accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John and unto the same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us for of his resurrection, verse 23. And they appointed to Joseph called Basabas, whose surname was Justus, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these, whether of these two men thou have chosen, that they may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go in his own place. Verse 26, and they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven. Praise the Lord Jesus. Here in the reading of Acts chapter 1. Let me read Acts chapter 2, but let me take a moment and just acknowledge uh, those on the line. Uh, we are starting with our speaker at one, be some slight uh, 
change their communication. We had to make some switch last minute here uh, to accommodate our pastoral session with our churches in the United Kingdom. So my apologies for that. We will be on schedule back on tomorrow at noon. So I want to acknowledge uh, Pastor Ian. God bless you, sir. Uh, Pastor Cynthia, God bless you, ma'am. Don't if you want to get on camera and just greet the body of people that are here. Praise God. Tabernacle for the Lord. God bless you, Pastor Anne Marie. I know you're on the job. And to uh, Lady Tanya, God bless you. And to Sister Stennett, really appreciate you. And Sister Suzanne out of TLC, God bless, God bless. So if anyone just want to greet, I'll give you a quick moment, uh, a quick moment. If not, I'll just go right into the reading of Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2. Here we go. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were devote men dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, out of every nation under the heaven. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galilean? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherewith we were born? Parthians and the Medes and the Elamites and the dwellers of Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia and in Pontus, and in Asia, and in Philgia, and in Pamphylia, and in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, and about Cyrene, and the strangers of Rome, Jews, and proselytes. Verse 11, Acts 2, Creeds and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Right there you see the gospel is about the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt. Saints of God, don't be doubtful when the word goes forth. It's okay. It's a human side of us. They were in doubt, saying one to another, what meanest this? Others were mocking, said, these men are filled of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the 11, lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea, and all he that are dwelt at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these men are not drunken. Didn't stop there. We are drunk. As he supposed, seeing it's but the third hour. The first hour is 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. The second hour is 7 a.m. The third is 9. So 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine hours. 9 o'clock in the morning. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, said the Lord, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon turned into blood before the great and noble day of the Lord. Verse 21, Acts chapter 2. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, 
a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you and yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and for knowledge of God, he have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Verse 24, whom God has raised up, having loosed upon the, the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is my right hand, and I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer the Holy One to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Me and men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch of David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. And seeing this before, he spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. Ah, resurrection there. Jesus had God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Verse 33, Acts chapter 2. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he had shed forth this, which he now see and hear. For David is not ascended into heavens, but he said himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make the foes thy footstool. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom he have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Verse 37, Acts 2. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and to your children. And to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day they were added unto them about three thousand souls verse 42 and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers it was prayers and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and at all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God, having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily as should be be say. Here in it, the reading of God's word according to the Acts of the Apostles, chapters 1 and 2, King James Version. 
I just want to uh, pray to God that these words will resonate in your heart and that you will really take time to reread them and to see uh, the full example of the promise, the full example of the work of the Holy Spirit. At this time, if there's anyone who'd like to say a few words and our pastors, I got about 15 minutes before our speaker comes on. And uh, while you do that, I will take you to the book of Joel. Praise God, where the prophecy was now being fulfilled there in the book of Acts. Praise God. So anyone would like to greet this convocation at this hour, maybe on your lunch break. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, let me check to see if you can unmute yourself. Praise God. Uh, praise God. Let me see, because sometimes we set the security. All right, there you go. You should be able to unmute yourself now. Praise God. So go ahead, unmute yourself and greet this great convocation. What shall make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. Oh, precious. Yes, that flows. That makes me white as no no other found I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to greet those who are joining in. God bless you, Elder Gail. Praise God. We are starting promptly at one. There was some slight uh, communication. We did make a switch due to the ministerial, the pastoral session uh, for on Tuesday. So our speaker will be coming in at one o'clock. Praise God. Greetings to Brother Don Neal. God bless you. To Marcia Hillary, God bless. To our own Lady Morris, God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Let me read for you the promise of the Holy Spirit. I hope you had a chance to look at the recording that came to us from our own Elder Dr. Davis. And I'll read for you, reading from Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Blow he the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the Lord tremble for the day of the lord cometh for it is nigh at hand a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread unto the mountains a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations, a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth in the land is as the garden of Eden, before them and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. 
The appearance of them is as appearance of horses. As horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots. On the top of mountains shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devour the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pain and all the faces shall gather blackness and they shall run like mighty men and they shall climb the wall like men of will march everyone on the ways and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall not walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Verse 9, Joel chapter 2. They shall run to and fro in the city. And they shall run upon the veil, the wall. And they shall climb up onto the, house, the, the houses. And they shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake, and before them the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their light. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong and executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Verse 12. Right. Therefore also said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rent your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of a great kindness and repented him of the evil. Verse 14, who know it if the will will return and the repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Verse 15, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast. Mm. call a solemn assembly convocation gather the people sanctify the congregation assemble the elders gather the children and those that are suck the breast and let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and let the bride out of their clothes of their closet let the priests and the ministers of the lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say spear thy people, O Lord, and give not thine inheritance to approach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore, should they say among the people, where is their God? Verse 18. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, behold, I will send you corn and wine behold i will send i will satisfy their wit and i will no more make you a reproach among the heathen but i'll remove far off from you the northern army and i will drive him into the land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea and his stink shall come up and his ill savior shall come up because he hath done great things. Fear not, fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beast of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring for the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad, be glad, be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, 
and he will cause it to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with the wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Verse 26, but he shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God. And that had dwelled wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27, and he shall know that I am the Lord in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed, and I shall come, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord. 32 and last, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And as the Lord had said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Here in the reading of God's word from Joel chapter two, praise God. It's now 1247. I just want to thank God again for you. Our presenter is getting herself situated. Praise God, praise God. Is there anyone at this time? I just feel led to just put in a prayer, a midday prayer, normally at noon, uh, the Bronx church will be praying for the needs and uh, we have suspended that just to show solidarity and unity with our great convocation. So if anyone has a request, I'd like you to make it known now and then I'll take it to the throne of grace and I will then pass over to our, uh, our presenter, uh, co-pastor, first lady, uh, Paulette Faulkner out of Futim, uh, the church that is filled with the spirit, praise God. Anyone has a prayer request? Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Pastor Drummond here. Uh, bless the Lord, Pastor Drummond. Thank you, my dear. Just pray for Joshua and his wife. That God may, she's expecting that God may, you know, give her safe delivery and she'll be well. All right. Praise God. Joshua and his wife. Praise God. Maybe. Stop, stop, stop. stop. So, any, any other requests? Any other requests? But then you have this Yes, praise the Lord. My name is Marcia. Marcia, I'm a member of church. Yeah, I'm answering a prayer request for my father. That is, you know, Democrats trying to come together. Somewhere in there. Praise God, praise God. So Lady Marcia and Joshua, anyone else? Anyone else? I see our speakers getting ourselves situated. Anyone else? Praise God before I take these prayer requests for the Lord. I have one request. I want to pray for Mother Griffiths. Uh, she's not doing so well, her, her hips, and she's contemplating a hip replacement. I've been to many doctors and I've done the prep work, and uh, she's just uh, vacillating, uh, waiting to see what to do. So I want to pray for Mother Griffiths. So I'll just take these prayer requests to the Lord right at this time without any further ado. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you again. God, it is you who had made us and not we ourselves. God, you said healing is the children's bread. 
And Lord, you will not take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. And here we are, God. Oh God, you said you wish of all things that we prosper and that we be in good health. You said your hands are not short that you can't reach down, oh God, and touch our needs. You said your ears are not heavy that you cannot hear the cry of your children. God, you said if the earthly father know how to give good gifts, how much more our heavenly father. God, I put before you Joshua. Oh, glory be to God. Joshua, the minister of Moses. God, you know God is need. You know God is innermost desire. I pray, God, the one who can read the intents of the heart, that at this very moment, God, this very hour, as we call upon the name of Jesus Christ, that Joshua will feel a divine move. He will feel a divine quaking of God's presence knowing God that supplication is being made upon his behalf. God, Marcia, God, I put Marcia right now in the need of prayer. One writer said, it's me, Lord, it's me, Lord. Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, Lord. Here I am facing something new and I need help, God, that only comes from you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we need your help right now, God. Oh, God, touch your dear daughter, my God, from the very crown of her head to the very sole of her feet every fiber, every tissue, every red blood cell, every white blood cell. Father, my God, it is you who had made us and not we ourselves. And Father God, Mother Griff, oh God, a mother who I love dear to my heart. She was there the day when I accepted you as my Lord and personal Savior. God getting up in age and God, God, the hips, oh God, the bone, the joints, oh God, are wearing away osteoporosis is setting in but god you looked at the dead bones in the valley and oh god is deeper said lo they are very dry he said lord what should i do and god you created a dialogue and he said man of god you know the word uh, prophesy to these bones father god you can renew sinews god you can put oh god cartilage where there is none i ask you now god let your divine power and healing work through her. God, as she contemplate, God, the decisions by the doctor. God, I know, God, that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly of all that we can ask or think. And with you, God, nothing is impossible. God bless you, saints. God bless you. Let me just decrease, get myself out the way. And I just want to take this opportune time to uh, acknowledge the presence of our Speaker, praise God, I must duly apologize for the time change that, that occurred, but the, we still have a captivated audience here, uh, Pastor Lady Faulkner. So Pastor Faulkner, I'm gonna ask Vanessa to make you co-host, praise God, so yeah. you, can, you can go ahead and you have access to share a, your, your slides and, and, and do as does set the Lord. So woman of God, we have seen this presentation and I want to let you know that I, did not only hear you, but I have put what you have taught me into practice. Amen? <laughs> so I'm trading. And, I, and let me say this to you, Pastor. I've gone one step further. I am now doing Bitcoins. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Wonderful. So Wonderful. I just, I just learned that this week. Amen? <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm going to be like you, man. Praise the Lord. Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> so God bless you. God bless you. So Vanessa, bless you. take it away, my dear. Let's spotlight bless her. You. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, wow, I'm really yes. spotlighted. <laughs> yes, yes, that's Perfect. my daughter. She's driving it back there. <laughs> Wonderful. Precious greetings to you, Pastor, to your presiding bishop, to each and every minister, saints of the Most High God. It's certainly a pleasure to come before you on today. Sorry for the mixed up of time, praise God, but I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. Yes, my I'm grateful to God that he has dropped so much stuff in my spirit that I tried and worked so well that I am willing to share it with anyone who wants to learn. Glory to God. I 
I, I presume you've prayed, but I just want to say, God, I thank you for this chance. Thank you for each and every one that is listening to my voice, whether via Facebook or YouTube. God, whatever information is given, praise God. I pray that they will utilize it. Glory to God, to the best of their ability. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We appreciate you, Lord Jesus, for providing the information. God, I give you glory and I give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Again, once again, we're grateful. I do greet my husband for allowing me to do this and to members of any uh, churches that are listening to me on today. I will give you the information based on what I have learned over the years. I cannot and I will not say that I'm an expert, but I do pretty well. <laughs> so I'm willing to share that with each and everyone that's listening. I've done this uh, uh, before and I'm willing to do it again and again until each one of us learn to invest, learn to own some stuff, praise God, and knowing that the riches of this world is held up for the righteous, praise God, hallelujah. So today I want to share with you, it's called Investment 101. I am not an expert of using um, the PowerPoint on Zoom, but if you'll allow me to share my screen with you, I'd like to do that. So, uh, Pastor, you will have to tell me <laughs> how to do this. So I'm going to share my screen. Yes. So I click on share screen and uh, you let me know if you're seeing yes, what, I will. what I'm trying to sure. uh, bring over to you. Okay. Put, your slide in, put your slide in, into show mode first. Okay. So go to PowerPoint and put it into screen show mode. Right. Uh, screen show mode. Yes. Okay. Slide, um, slide show mode. Yep. Uh, let's see if I can find this here. Yes. Okay. I am clicking on it and nothing is happening for me. <laughs> All right. So if you are, you, are you clicking on, on, on Zoom? Yes, I am on Zoom and I'm clicking on the PowerPoint that says PPF investment, but okay. I'm clicking and nothing is going on. So let okay. me see if there's something else I need to do here. Yes, it's a two-step process. You click on that green button that says share. Right, which I just did. And then you, and choose, then, you choose the screen you want to share, then you press okay. share. Okay. So Big choose your screen, and then the bottom bottom right, press share. Okay, let's see. Share. Yes. Okay. Clicking on it, nothing is going on for me. <laughs> wow, I did it before and it worked. So, um, all right, let, let me uh, just give you some basic information. In the meantime, I'm going to see why. I don't know why it's not. Uh, if you want, you can just quickly email that to me and I'll share for you. Say it again. You can quickly email it to me. Oh, you got someone there to help you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask my daughter just to help me to share it. Come on, my daughter, help out. Me. <laughs> one, just, just, just let me get off video for just one second. Sure, take your time. Take your time. Yes, come, come on. How do All I right, share? So you know we're doing technology, and yeah, we have a webinar as Pastor said to get the churches acclimated to Zoom. And one of the things I've always said, the church, we got to Zoomify. You do multiple participants share simultaneously. Right. So you That's just go one part share. share at a time. Right. Um. All right, take your time. Yeah. Um, a pastor, do I have access? Because she's asking if I have access. Do I have access? Yes, okay. you do. Yes, All right, you do. I'm, I just click share. It's now, working. Here you go. And got it? Just, yep, and then maximize your screen. Click on the bottom left. Okay. Yeah, go into so slideshow so mode. Right, I just did that. Okay. Slideshow mode. Yep. And yep. okay. I'm going okay. from the beginning. Okay. okay. How is that? Oh, you are perfect now. Now put yourself <laughs> back in camera so we can see you live. Uh, okay. One. Uh, oh boy. I want to no, go that's back. all right. Doing good. Huh? Oh, I want to go back. Start video. Yeah, but Just I want to go back. Click on start. There you go. All right. Okay. So now we see you and we see the slide. Okay. All right, so um, uh, just one second. That first screen that was here is not there. So how do I get back to it? Okay. We don't see a few people, the gallery. Okay, see. all right. So here's my first screen. It's, it's investment 101. 
it's it's really a beginner seminar that I'm I'm I'm, I'm working with here. And the objective of this uh, session today is to explain the basics of stock investments. That's one. Describe the process of acquiring real estate investments and an outline of E-Trade account that I'll be doing. So I'll be actually showing you how, how to do it. All right, if that's okay with you. Um, the fundamental of of trading. Uh, number one, I hope you have a pencil and paper so you can take some notes. You must be disciplined, okay? You must be disciplined. You must exercise patience. Uh, patience is a virtue. You've got to exercise patience. It's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, maybe some of you may be lucky enough to buy something today and it blow up on tomorrow. But most times in my years, you, you wait patiently and watch your stocks grow. You must be flexible, all right? I'm hoping you're hearing me. You must be flexible. Resilience, you must be, glory to God. And also you have to be independent. And guess what? You have to have a vision. You must know, well, by certain time, I want to accumulate so much to do such and such. Most times when someone go into investment, whether it's stock or real estate, down the road, you, you have a vision. Say, hey, I want to own a house or I want to have so much set aside for retirement. So you must have a vision. Um, may I remind you, money does not grow on trees. However, money does grow in, in just in different sense. It does grow. And if, if I may say this, if there's a banker on the line, you, your money don't grow in the bank. It's, it, 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 the, the, the percentage is, is minute in today's time. There were times when you could have had a CD and you get two and 3%, uh, forget it now. Uh, there were times back in the days 5% was good. Now you put your money in the bank. It's 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.20. And believe me, you, you get upset if you see what you get, the interest you get each month on your funds. So putting some money in the bank is good, but you're not going to make much off of that money. The bank is going to use that money and make money on it and give you, as I said, the percentage that I just told, told you. Money that is deposited in the bank, it's a way to investors through what is called fractional reserve lending. In other words, the bank loan out your funds and give you those rates that I, I, I spoke to you about. So... When you save in the bank, you're really billing the bank. You're getting very little. And if you're listening to me, you can agree, you get very little. Uh, investment is needed to drive our country's economy. So that's what most people to do today. They invest via, via the stock market, via real estate. Some do the, the cryptocurrency, you know, things like that. As an individual, investing represents an opportunity for making money to grow literally as an, from, from an individual st standpoint. Most commonly known type of investment is a bank account. And it's, as I said, very little. <laughs> I'm not, I can't boost the bank because I don't really believe in the bank. The benefits of investment outweighs the risk by far, as long as you know what you are doing. So I'm just giving you like a, a, a basic here so that as you hear, as I go further, you can put every, tie in everything together. But it outweighs the risk by far, as long as you know what you're doing. You can make good income if you make the right choices based on accurate information, 
a strong gut and also common sense. So I'm just giving you just a little touch up of, of the basic fundamentals. Investing in the financial markets does not have to be stressful. All right, it does not have to be stressful. There are times that you might see the market or hear, uh, I'm a regular listening listener to 1130 Bloomberg Radio. Uh, you can listen to uh, watch Fox 5, 4 and get some good information. But it does not have to be stressful. It may be painful at times because today your stocks could be way up and tomorrow Maybe the president may say something or there's something that happened globally and the, your stocks can drop. So you can see today you have a few thousand dollars and by this evening, that same money is like disappear. All right. So it doesn't have to be, but it's sometimes it's painful. An average, average investor refers to a regular individual looking to put some of their hard earned cash into equities, bonds, or other assets. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you're, you're, you're hearing, hearing me clearly. But the average investor is someone who is looking to take advantage of the opportunities the market affords and multiply their savings into a greater amount than your average income. And that happens through investing. Okay. I, 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 I did give you, uh, I'm sharing my screen. You must be disciplined. You must exercise patient. You must be flexible, resilient, independent, and have a vision. I'm just going over some of the stuff quickly. Uh, it's better than banking. Trust me, because as I explained to you before, the interest rate is extremely low. Stock investment have a 12% rate of return on average, 12%. It's high risk investment and the benefits outweighs the risk. So high risk equal high reward. So if you are a risk taker, and many of us are, when we get up in the morning and we get in our car to drive on the road, we have no clue if the next, the driver that's gonna be behind us or on the side lane of us is high on something, we, we have no clue, but we get in our car, we go by faith, all right? But I'm, I'm stating that today, high risk equals high reward. And I'm saying this to say that I am a high risk person, so I take the risk and it has been great. All right, um, let me get, give you some definitions. Stock investments, what? The stock market, place where public listed companies are traded and where companies float shares to the general public. Initial public offering. An IPO is the first time the owner of the company gives a part of their ownership to stockholders uh, and is used to raise capital. So company A may have certain amount of shares and decide to, to, to go IPO and get, allow the public to purchase the, the shares. What's a share? A unit that represent part ownership on a corporation and entities and entitles you to part of that corporation's earning and assets multiple shares make up a stock. So I, I, an example is Facebook. Let's say Facebook, I'll give you just an example. Facebook went public several years ago. We were able to purchase it. Well, at the time I purchased it, I was able to purchase it at $38 per share. You can Google today and tell me what, what, how much per share is, 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 is Facebook? Facebook is over 340 something dollars per share today. So I'm one of those investors who don't quickly buy and sell. 
I buy and I hold for a while. I've learned my lesson, okay? A stock and equity investment, all right? Give a, I hope, hope you're learning. Before stocks, stock investments when? Before stocks become initially available to the public, insiders or investors have brought their desired amount of the shares. I, I mean, they're part of the company, so they get first preference. We get it when it becomes an IPO, then the public gets to purchase. But if you're an employee, an insider of that company, you get it at a almost little and nothing. Stocks can be purchased when the company initially offers shares to the public. It's going, it's called going public. All right? Okay. In stock investment, who? Any one of us. Any one of us can open an account, bring over your cash from your bank, and purchase stocks. All right? So anyone, anybody. Okay? All right. Stock investment how? What you need to do. Most times, um, in the beginning, I, I'll hear little tips and ch from different ones, but I become a person that will do some research. You, in the beginning, might not want to do that research, but I can guide you how to. It says research companies and find out what analysts are saying about the companies. So then if, 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 if Facebook, everybody use Facebook, every person, just about everyone use Google. So you know those companies are not going anywhere. They're not leaving. They're not going to shut down. So Facebook, Google, Netflix, Costco, Walmart, all those are companies that you can invest in. Analysts will suggest to buy, sell, or hold, okay? Analyst does. And I have a tendency that when I go into my brokerage account, I go to the right on side of my account and it will tell you whether what the various analysts says about a particular stock. I have a tendency to see if, if majority of the analysts saying, sell, I have a tendency sometimes not to follow. But when they say buy, most of them say buy. I'm quick to buy because more, you know, more than one is agreeing to purchase. In other words, this stock is going somewhere. You can listen to the news station. I'm a regular listener for Blue, to Bloomberg Radio to hear analysts talk about what's a good stock. So I'm giving you information how you can know. You can also network with coworkers to learn tips, tricks, and opportunities, you know, about a particular stock. You also can Google different um, uh, companies that talks about and encourage you, different individuals. There are quite a few on on uh, YouTube that you can just listen to them, watch their video and learn from them how, you know, to, to, to come up in purchasing their stocks. Okay. Trade enrollment. Okay. The one that I use mostly is www.etrade.com, but you can also use TD Ameritrade, there's Charles Schwab. There's several others. These are the ones that I use. I use E-Trade and I use TD Ameritrade, but there are quite a few others that you, know, you can trade. You can then create an account. When you type www.etrade.com, it comes up and it will ask you, do you want to open an account? You would click open an account and they're gonna ask you some basic information, name, address. Uh, you're gonna to have to give your social security. They're gonna ask you uh, what, how much, uh, what expertise you are, how many years you've been doing this. And you just answer honestly. 
okay? Follow the instruction and complete the account, and then you set it up. Once you set it up, you are now ready to start trading. When you go to trade, as I said before, you will need uh, some funding. Before you can trade, you're going to link and it will tell you in the, in the actual, when you're on that page, how to connect your bank to your brokerage account. When you connect your bank to the brokerage account, you then be able to transfer funds from your savings account or your checking account to your brokerage account. After you do that, and you will, trust me, E-Trade or TD Ameritrade, they'll verify you. They may deposit one or two cents in your account on a particular day. Then when you come back to the account, it, it will ask you how much was deposit and what day it was deposit because they want to make sure it, it, you're a legit person and that you, you do, do connect to them. Once you put that information in, it, it, you click verified, you're okay. So now the account is verified. Then at that point, you can then go and do transfer funds. You will put in your bank name, put in the amount you want to transfer, click confirm, and then your money will come over. Usually it takes two to three days for that funds to be available to you so that you can then start trading. You cannot start trading without you have some money in your account. And that fund can be as low as $100, that low, minimum, you know. And from $100, it, you can get some, a lot of penny stocks for that. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the three cents or five cents or the stocks that are just coming on board and are pretty low, but you can start. Um, many folks know about uh, Robin Hood. You can open it right on your phone, do your transfer. I finally did Robin Hood. I never, uh, my last investment class, I didn't have it. But now I open Robin Hood and I do some, I purchase some Doja coin on, on Robin Hood. I, I do have Bitcoin also. But I'm just trying to tell you there's more than one. You can, you can do Robin Hood on your phone. On, on your computer, go in and do E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, but you can at that point get started once your fund has been transferred. Uh, here's a sample portfolio. I'm giving you, I hope you can see this on your screen. It's a sample, okay. Um, if you take a look, this is a sample E-Trade account. To the far left, you see the symbol. The symbol for Walmart, symbol for Pier 1 import, the symbol for General Electric. So when you go to purchase, sell or buy, you need the symbol. Okay? So for Walmart, it's WMT. This individual have a 100 quantity. If you look at the purchase price, see that person, this individual paid $70 per share. Right now, the current price, well, on, on this uh, sample that I'm giving you, it's not this now, this is from previous, but it's $69.98. It shows you your total value. It also shows you your gain or your loss. This is done on all, every time you purchase, you will get that screen that gives you this information, gives you the quantity, give you, gives you the symbol, give you what you pay for it, give you what it is today, give you what your total value is. And then if you look to the far right corner, it, it tells you that you're right now you're negative. So because it went down, it went down about $2, I believe, about a dollar something, it dropped. I'm just giving you just a sample so you'll see what it looks like. You will need, you cannot purchase the stock without having 
the symbol. The symbol for Facebook is FB. Symbol for Google is G-O-O-G, -O -O or you have G-O-O-G-L. Netflix has quite a few, all right? I'm just giving you an example, all right? Before I, 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 I go into the, the real estate investment, I just want to remind you of this, that to, if you are an individual that is nervous about your funds, I advise you to keep your money in the bank, take your 0.05, your 0.10 or point whatever, and be happy with it. If you're going to be nervous, if you are a risk taker and you're saying, well, listen, I want my to branch out and, and get something done, then I advise you to invest in stocks. Okay, I am not that familiar with mutual funds. Neither am I that familiar with um buying and selling via put and calls and I'm still I'm, I'm still looking and researching that I am also not a day trader and I come to realize that as a day trader you can really make some good funds but you have you have got to know what you're doing or else you will lose all your funds and I wouldn't like you open your account start and then you lose your funds and you says lady faulkner told me to do this and i did it this way no i want you to take your time uh, uh do a little research uh, spend a little time just reading stuff get get a little familiar with investing in the stock market let me tell you it's very very lucrative I am saying it because I have done it in the past, what, 15, 18 years, and it has been spectacular. When you purchase a stock, a lot of times people buy and in no time they sell. I once had a investment company was doing it for me. Uh, many, many years ago, I was with Solomon Smith Barney, which is now out of business. But I used to wonder why is it that they buy and sell, buy and sell so often? And somebody sat me down and says, Paulette, don't you know every time they buy and sell, they make a commission off your money? And when I heard that, I decided, hey, guess what? I am going to shut down my account and open it myself and manage it myself. And I did just that. I opened E-Trade started, take that, move over that 60 grand, and I've been going, it's history, how far I've reached. When you purchase a stock, I do not advise you to buy it and quickly sell it. When the stock sits for a while and it grows, at some point, the company will announce a split when it announces a two to one split or a three to one split, then you get more stocks. The price goes down at that point, but then you get more. An example that I had, I purchased a stock called Baidu, which is the Chinese version of Google. I purchased 130 shares of Baidu for Maybe I think I bought it for in the 30s, maybe 30 something dollars. I held on to the stock. And a few years ago, I went somewhere, I was doing something and just a voice said to me, check your stock. And I decided to check it. That stock split 10 times. And I don't think I'll ever forget it. Baidu split 10 times. A few years ago, I bought a, Chinese version hotel chain called HTHT. And I, I'm giving you these, these um, symbols so you can go and look it up. I bought HTHT and in no time within a year or two, I believe, or, or three years, HT split four times. So that means if you have one stock and it split four times, you now have four stocks. I had 130 Baidu, 
So it split 10 times. I had 1,130 shares. Those shares now grew. So because it's sitting there, I'm not selling it. It grew so much, so much so that when it finished dumping my account, I was able to buy my Bentley cash. So I'm telling you, stock investment works. Um, and I'm telling you, it, it, it does work. <laughs> I, could, I could give you more stories. Visa, split. MasterCard, split. So the more the stock split and you get more. I don't know if how many of you had Bitcoin. Bitcoin split, I think in 2019, either 2019 or somewhere there. Bit, bit, Bitcoin split quite a bit and dumped quite a bit of shares. It dropped, but Bitcoin came back up. So you should try your best not to quickly want to sell. If you had owned Berkshire Hathaway, in 1989, Berkshire Hathaway was $489. Today, if you type in BRK-A, Berkshire Hathaway is now over $300,000 per share. So if you have five shares of Berkshire Hathaway, how much do you currently own? You're, you will have 1.5 million in your brokerage account. So don't quickly run and sell, folks who is listening to me. Don't quickly run and sell. All right. So I can give you some more information on owning stocks, walk you through it, helping you. And now I think Pastor Williams is just doing so great. Uh, I, I want to just quickly, before I talk about real estate investment, give you some stocks that is you should own. You may not have the money to buy the full share right now, but they, these stocks are not going anywhere. I mean, <laughs> how many of you have used Amazon? Just about everything I want online, I jump. I, as a Prime member, I order it from Amazon. And in a day, it's, it's here. So Amazon is one of the best stock to own today, Amazon. Another one is Google, Alphabet, Apple, all right? Costco, Disney, Facebook. These are companies that they're making tons of money daily. MasterCard, just about every person you come across have a credit card. MasterCard or Visa, those two companies, they're not going anywhere. American Express, they're not, it, it's been years. It's not, they're not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm just giving you a few. Microsoft. We can't do without Microsoft. <laughs> so Microsoft is not going anywhere. Okay, so let me give you the symbol for Microsoft, MSFT. MasterCard is MA. Facebook is FB. Disney is DIS. Costco, C-O-S-T. Apple, everybody owns an Apple phone. Well, majority, quite a few, AAPL, Apple also split. So I did well with Apple also because Apple split. <laughs> Believe it or not, Tesla. Tesla, I just bought it because I didn't really know what, what was Tesla, this electric car. But I paid $171 a share for Tesla. Tesla grew to almost, I think, over $800 a share. Then it split. And guess what? It split, give you a dump, a, a, a large amount of, of, of based on what I had, and then it grew back. Now it's back up to, I believe it's between 600 and 650 per share for Tesla, T-S-L-A. So if you have the funds sitting in the bank, sitting in your 401k, 
it ain't doing you much good. Where it does good is when you invest it in the stock market. Okay. Spotify is also a good one. S-P-O-T. Shopify. S-H-O-P. Pinterest is very good. Nike. Very good. And Netflix. Those are the 15 top stock right now that is, they're not cheap, especially Amazon. Now, Amazon is over 3,500 a share right now. But I remember when Amazon was fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. And um, when my husband wanted to purchase it at 800, I said, honey, it's too high to buy, too high. And he says, buy it anyway. And I, I'm sorry I didn't buy it when he, he bought it, but I catch it at about 1600. It's now 3500. So it, the stock market, you will do well. But again, you have to be patient, resilient, and don't expect it's going to happen overnight. All right? God bless you on that. I can answer more questions at a later time, but I wanted to just to quickly speak to you on real estate investing. All right? Okay, real estate investments, why? Okay, majority of wealth comes from home ownership because of the tax credit. I, uh, as an individual, I remember several, quite a few years ago, the landlord decided that he was gonna increase my rent. This was in the eighties. And when I calculate, I multiply how much money I was gonna give him for the year. And I said to myself, why should I give the landlord so much money? My rent was going to just go up from $240 to $250. And I multiplied. I said, oh, my God, I'm not giving this landlord through whatever, $3,000 a year. And I said to honey, I said, honey, let's go look a house. He said, with what? <laughs> and we decided to start looking. All right. So you get the tax credit, the ability to write off the mortgage interest. Also, real estate appreciates in value, unlike cars that depreciate. So when you purchase a fancy car, that's not really an investment. It's just a luxury that you have and you drive around in. What appreciates is that house. Glory to God. All right. So I encourage and after I purchase. I started telling different ones, say, hey, let's get yourself a house. As a matter of fact, my first house was a two-family house. So I lived upstairs and I had a tenant downstairs. So the tenant paid my mortgage. So guess what? My paycheck and my husband's paycheck, at that time, we put it in the drawer. <laughs> That's what we did back then in the 80s. I put it in the drawer and let it accumulate, right? So it's nothing wrong in getting a house that is uh, tenant, tenanted. You just have to know how to deal with tenants. So my first few properties were, real first real estate properties were multifamily dwelling, all right? So real estate property consisting of land or building. You have the, the types of properties are condominiums, townhomes, apartment buildings, multifamily homes. Your first house, for me, it, it was better to get a two family because I needed, I felt like I needed help to pay the mortgage. Not that I really wanted to, but since I knew it will let, allow me to save more money, then I did a two family house. After the first one. Now, once you get an opportunity to purchase a home, that home increase in value by you paying your mortgage and build, build, bringing down that mortgage balance, equity is built in that home. When the equity is being built, you can then now go to a bank the and says, listen, I'd like to get a equity line of credit on my home. You can then 
based on your credit. So guess what? Your credit is extremely important. You must be careful with your credit. Your credit scores is looked at by the bank. Even today, when you go for a job interview, I realize companies are now looking at your, your TRW and TransUnion just to see how, what type of a person you are with your credit. Credit is very important. A 620 and below, it's very, very hard to get a loan from the bank. 620 and above, you will. Might be pushing it at that low, but there are companies that will give you a loan, all right? And you will need that to purchase. Who can purchase real estate? Anybody. Anyone can purchase as an individual or as a group. Three of you can come together and form an LLC and purchase a property together. I have done it. So whatever I'm telling you is something that I have done. All right, you, it's quick, can be quick, done very quick. Start that, get yourself an LLC, John P. Uh, uh, apartment LLC or investment management and get it started. You'll get your tax, tax ID and you'll be able to go ahead and purchase. So you can do it together as a small uh, LLC. Okay, so anyone can. All right, um, I, I think I'm cutting down on the time here. Okay, so real estate how? You must be pre-qualified. So the mortgage company or bank will look at your income, your expenses, and determine what you can afford. Okay, they're the ones who's going to look at your, your tax returns, look at your income, look at your expenses, and they'll say, uh, Mary Jane, uh, based on your income and your expenses, you can own a $200,000 house. At that point, you would reach out to a realtor, or if you'd like to purchase from an owner, which is quite difficult, it's not that easy, but if it can be done, but it's best if you really work with a realtor. Okay, a credit report will produce the minimum score is usually 620 that a bank will consider giving you a loan, all right? And uh, again, you must be employed. If you're retired, then the, in, uh, the income that's coming in must be enough with, with whatever expenses you have and they can say, well, okay, Mary Jane is making uh, 1500, her expense is probably only 200, and they'll do the calculation and let you know just how much. Okay, so, and then, you know, you reach out to an agent and says, listen, uh, you will get a pre-qualified letter from that bank or mortgage company. It will be needed to, to, to show the, the, the seller when you're um, find something that you like. Okay, so in summary, stock investment are a long-term worthwhile investment. If you want to do the day trading and you want to take, try it, be prepared. You can, if you're not wise enough, you don't know what you're doing, you will lose your money. Again, if you are a nervous person, and you're going to be worrying about every 10 and five, every 10 and 15, 20 dollars today. I mean, there are some days when I look at the my portfolio, I say, oh my God, what happened today? 10, 15 grand down. But then again, another day, it's 25 and 30 up. So it it it, it works. Make money work, make your money work for you. Okay, home ownership is the goal. So if you make all this money from the stocks, you can then sell it and purchase a home. So your money that you made from the stock market, which I've done, you and now invest it in a multifamily dwelling. And I did that. I was able to purchase a 12 unit, then a 17 unit, then a 20 unit, then a 42 unit, you can do it. Taking the funds you make from your 
stock market. Amen. <laughs> okay. Renting is not an investment at all. It's not. I had a tenant for years. And one day I went to him and says, young man, calculate how much money you've given me in rent. And when he multiplied how much he gave me in the, in, in the eight years he was in my house, the next month or so, he says, came to me and says, Miss Faulkner, guess what? I'm purchasing a house. I say, good for you. I'm, I was the landlord. So I said, I'm happy for you. And he went out and bought himself a home. I, in turn, take that home, that apartment, and I usually fix it up very nice as if I live there and turn around and sell the home, take the money from that home and purchase a building, okay? Having a stock portfolio via E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, I usually go with the companies that I don't pay any commission. <laughs> I guess I'm cheap. I don't wanna pay no commission. So right now when I purchase my stock, I don't pay any commission, <laughs> all right? Okay, having a stock portfolio, can be very, very rewarding. That is what I have to share with you on today. Um, I don't know if uh, there's anyone who would like to ask any questions, um, but I hope I gave you a nice little taste of investing, uh, that ve whether via stock or real estate. I'm, I am sure uh, there's somebody out there that have questions. There's somebody out there would like to start. And um, Pastor Franklin Williamson, I, <laughs> uh, he has done it now. And a couple of people well that on my last investment class reach out to me and open their account. And um, so... I, I would like to, I, I don't know if my, the timing, how uh, much more time. Your, your time yeah. is good, Pastor. You have till two o'clock. So there's Q&A. Yes. Yeah. I think this is a valuable time. I mean, uh, like I'm I said. I'm going to stop last, sharing at this time. All right. Okay. Yes. The last one you did, ma'am, I want to tell you, I didn't just only listen to you. Marcia <laughs> and I sat down and we get on to TD America Trade. Yeah. We opened an account. Yeah. we did start invest so wow wow I'm, just, I'm so i'm really happy <laughs> yes, yes I, i'm grateful to you and just this week i just uh one of my students you know did a paper on bitcoin investing and i said i'm going to reach out to you in the summer so you can teach me how this thing works and just today i, I bought my first set of bitcoins <gasps> wonderful yes yes yes, yes. i'm no expert <laughs> I'm no expert. <laughs> I, I, am, I don't consider myself an expert either. But what I've been doing worked. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And they told me, come back in 24 hours and look at your Bitcoin. So <laughs> <laughs> that is great. I'm, 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 I, I, am, I am proud when somebody practice or, or try something that I've done. I, I worked on my family members, just about my sister, my sisters, they all own a home. My daughter own a home, more than one now, my daughter. So yes. it, 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 it's really good. Forget yes. the bank. <laughs> I know. And that's one thing, uh, Pastor, I've been pushing with the church for 2020, 2021. Yes. Everyone who desires to own your own home. Yes. We've you know, gone maybe six or 10 homes. Uh, purchase in the church so but, which, know. which is marvelous <laughs> yes, yes yeah all right so the, 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 the lines are open just unmute yourself and uh you know open your mic and it's question and answers you got pastor Faulkner here normally you will have to pay a fee just to get this type of advice but we are bringing it to you here at no cause via convocation so okay. please unmute yourself and Let's hear your question. Thank okay. you. Uh, Vanessa, this just monitor me, please. This yes, go ahead. Pastor. Yeah. What if you only have like $500 and you want to start to buy stock? Right. 
what can I find like low, um, I mean like low stocks where I can spend $500. Okay, okay. So there, there are a lot of, uh, they call them penny stocks, but uh, the penny stocks grow. Yeah. I, I, my daughter had about $700, between five and $700. And she decided to take a look around at penny stocks. There was a stock she, she paid $3 and 28 cents a share for, but because she had only seven, five hundred dollars five or $700, she said, let's split it up and buy 20 shares of this, 15 shares of that, 30 shares of that. So that, so that it, you know, to take up the 500. Yeah. Uh, uh, just um, several months ago, I decided I was on my system and I decided to check her, her portfolio. She did not observe it that the $3.28 stock that she bought is, was, was then 50 something dollars. So I said to her, wow, why couldn't you tell me about it so I could purchase some of it? So I bought it at $54. Today, the stock is $85. So you can find stocks out there that is low. Uh, I believe today there's supposed to be an IPO for a DD stock called DIDI, which is, I, I'm, I'm, I've per purchased a couple thousand shares of it. It's supposed to go uh, IPO today. It is the Chinese version of Uber, of, of Uber U-B-E-R. Uh, you know you Uber in America. The Chinese version one is, is called Didi, D-I-D-I. -I. It just went public today. I think it's between $13 and $15 or something like that. So D -I -D -I? there are- D-I-D-I? D-I-D-I, yes. Okay. So it, it just went, I believe it's, it, it's going public today because I put in to, to purchase some of it. But I'm trying to, there are quite a few smaller stocks. Um, uh, there's one called Z-N-G-A. That's that's nice and cheap right now. There's what is one it? called Z N G A. There's one called mm -hmm. W R A P, which is RAP. Those are going places, but slowly. So you've got to remember, the cheaper stock takes a while to get high. Yes. I, I think I paid three dollars or four dollars for Z N G A for my kids. It's now ten, ten or eleven dollars. Mm. Rap was five dollars something. I think it's nine dollars or eight something now. So you, you can. I have a tendency to buy the cheaper stock for my kids because they have a lot year a years ahead of them. I yes. don't have many many years, so I buy them really more expensive stock that is going up, you know, quite a bit. But there are quite a few stocks out there that you know you can reach out to me. And I'll give you a few of them because I do buy them for my kids. And okay. there are quite a few stocks there that is like $1.45, uh, $2, $3. But you have to get ones that are moving, going someplace. All okay. right? Okay. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll um, get your number and reach out to you because right. I'm interested. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Any more questions? Come on, Saints, unmute your mic. There is no silly question. The one that's not asked. <laughs> <laughs> no questions at all? Does that mean I, I did everything right? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody understood everything, you know? <laughs> well, Pastor Fork, now let, let, let me just do the dialogue. We got 12 minutes. As, as someone asked about, you know, not having a lot of money, yeah. uh, again, your risk level, your tolerance level, you know, how much you, you can afford not to worry about, right? Let's put it that way. Right, right. So you may say, so I may have a thousand dollars I could really not worry Play about. With. Yeah. Play with. Just, just yeah. invest it and yeah. let it do its thing. And let it do its thing. And I have done that. I, um, um, I, I, I uh, did it for a couple of people where they said to me, uh, uh, Lady P just open an account for me and they give me the information or one person gave me $5,000 and say, you know, just open the account, invest it for me. And just exactly what I did, I opened the account, 
And of course, I am going to buy something that I purchased for myself. I'm not going to buy something off the wall that I don't know nothing about. But she don't mind me telling you today, her $5,000 in five years is $26,000. And I didn't do anything other than just purchasing the stock and let it sit. That's it. Now, Pastor Faulkner, can you yes. do the math? Yes. If that $5,000 sat in the bank. No, please. Oh, please. Can oh, you do please. the math, please? <laughs> oh, please. I won't even do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> because I was, I, was, I was fussing last week because we keep a few thousand in the bank just in case of you need to just run to get to the bank. And I was saying, my God, you get $2.64 on 20 grand? You crazy? Yes. So now I, so now I'm, I'm saying, forget it. I'm not even, going to, but you know, you, you, you try to keep something because when you have a brokerage account, when you sell the stock, it takes two to three days to settle because you sell it, you wait for it to settle. Then you transfer the funds to your account. Uh, you, you get me? So sometimes if you have to do something real quick, like today, you, you like to have a little something that you run to the bank and say, hey, I got to do this today instead of waiting two days to get it. Okay? So a little something, but it hurts really bad. Really bad. Mm -hmm. I think, um, uh, Pastor Green, you have a, a question. You're on mute and your mic is unmuted. Yes, ma'am. Um, grace and peace to you. God bless um, you. I'm so, I'm good so to happy see you. <laughs> so good to Likewise, see you. I'm so tickled. <laughs> you are? <laughs> I am. I am. Do you, how often do you um, do these sessions? I, I want to be a student. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a couple of people call me offline and I walk them through it. Open, okay. the, open the account with them. Um, uh, several have taken their 401k, brought it over and bought some stocks and is doing very well. Very good. One of my sons, he's this type of person. Yes. I am daft. I don't know anything about these things. Okay. So I, I want to learn more yeah. and maybe hook up with him because he's mm -hmm. into this type of thing. Yes. But I, I have to have a little more knowledge yes. so that when he's rattling off, I, I know what he's talking about. Okay, 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 okay. So I, I need to hook up with you more to get some more information. Right. And I, I do hope that Elder Williamson did tape this session that we can share it with more of our congregants because yes. a lot of them are not online today. They're at right. work. Yes. whatever but um maybe what i should do though is to ask you to do a session for our group franklin <laughs> avenue yes yes, yes, yes. So well, then, we, then you're gonna hear this again <laughs> that's okay that's okay i i i do want to hear it again because for the first 15 minutes i was with the pastor in florida so I missed those first 15 minutes. So I do need to hear it again. So okay. I'm, I'm going to touch base and see what we could come up with. Okay. Okay. I'll be more than happy to. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless you, Lady Fortner, Pastor Cynthia. Yes, it's been recorded live on, on YouTube. We'll be posted on Facebook. This is awesome. part two. Awesome. Pastor, Pastor Fortner did this in the Bronx. So if you go to the website, you'll also see this. But mm. I think the next one she needs to do is she needs to get from one on one to the two on one now. Okay, Pastor. <laughs> I have enough. Yeah, one when one. can be more advanced. Yes. <laughs> and when she was doing it in the Bronx, you didn't invite me. I know we, we did, but virtually you couldn't make it. But it's there now. It's on demand. You can always watch it at your leisure. Okay. Right? Great. Yeah. Great. So God bless you, Pastor Faulkner. Yes, God bless you. No more questions. Um, that's Anymore? it. Well, some, yes, there's a question in the chat, but I'm not sure if you want to entertain it. It's about cryptocurrency. Uh, yes, the crypto is quite involved. <laughs> yes, yes, quite involved. I mean, I'm still trying to get a 
uh, an understanding of crypto. I did purchase some Doja coin and um, I do have Bitcoin also. I did purchase it, but uh, I don't, I, I, I've never really gotten into the depth of, uh, of crypto as yet. Uh, I'm hoping to, to do an, another um, uh, a part of, uh, of investing, which is the put and the calls, buying options, because you can really do very good if you learn purchasing by or purchasing options. I don't understand that part yet. So <laughs> I kind of try to stick with what I know. <laughs> then, you know, that, that's what works for me. And since it works for me, I share it. Thanks I'll share if, if somebody needs to purchase a home, I can walk you through it because I've done it before several right. times over and over again. Even the investment. As I said, I bought a multifamily uh, 12 unit building. I, I came up, I, I wrote my own lease. I did everything, you know, and set myself up and I paid 460,000 for it. I sold it for 1.5. Seven million. <laughs> um, so I am I can help you. <laughs> I can. We appreciate the help, ma'am, and, and and we do want it. You know, there was somebody around who was into that stuff big time. You know who? But he <laughs> passed on a long time ago. Yes, and, I remember. I remember he, every once in a while I talk about him. <laughs> And we didn't catch his vision at that time, you know, when he was really going big time yes. into um, yes. into I, real estate investment. But I, he, remember, he, I remember his building too. <laughs> he had a 32 family yes. building too. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I just, I had a, I just had a 42 unit and I, I just sold Sold it, forty-two unit. I, awesome. I sold it. Um, um, just maybe a, I sold it a couple of years ago, and I'm thinking maybe I should have held on to it. Mm -hmm. But I I wind up purchasing a thirty-nine unit right on the beach of Daytona Beach, Florida. So wow. it sits right on the beach. Awesome, awesome. So mm -hmm. it can, you know. Yeah. yeah, our young people need to learn a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, then they, you yeah. know, they, it, 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 a lot of women don't do like I do, but I'm, I'm like that. <laughs> that we need to I learn like my own funds, right? We need, to, <laughs> we need to learn from you. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. nice to see you, Bishop Bloomfield. <laughs> Great to see you again, Sister I, Ford. I haven't no, seen you in a while. <laughs> and then COVID kind of push us apart a little further. Right, it's right. wonderful to see you. So good I to see you. I just got on you because I just got back from my doctor. I had an appointment with him this morning to monkey around my body. And I just got back in. So I said, let me jump <laughs> and see what's going good on. Good to see you. So good yes, to see wonderful you. wonderful seeing you too. Tell your husband yeah. I for me. Yes, I will. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any more questions before we close down? And um, Pastor, you have my number. My, You know, you can... I, I give you permission to give it to the pastors, especially those who want, you know, more information. And I think I have to start putting a, as I said, a 102 or 202 um, uh, session That's where you it get really in depth. Pastor Franklin, where are you, sir? Yeah, you're muted. We're not hearing you. He's he's talking, but we're not hearing him. Oh. You want to hold the questions at this time? Can you hear me? <laughs> not no. sp yeah. speak right. up a little louder. All right. Well, I'm going no. to ask you just, Bishop, just close, Bishop. Yeah. Okay. There's a question. There's one yeah. last question, real quick. Yes. Let's just put it in the chat. We'll get it. It's one o'clock. I want to end on time. I got another meeting coming on the same Zoom call. I'm so yeah, sorry. It's two o'clock. It's in the chat. It's in yeah. the chat. Because I was going to ask a question. No, put it in the chat for me, please. We're going to end on time. Thank you. God bless you. Go ahead, Bishop. 
Bow your where you are. Let me close out in prayer. Father, I thank you for today. Thank you for all the knowledge, Lord God, that you have placed inside your woman's servant. And that she was able to pass it on to us today, Lord Jesus. We ask God that we will take them in heart and mind. Use what we can, Lord God, to the betterment of your people as long as we are on planet Earth. We pray right now that you may continue to lead your guide her in all things, Lord God, that she'll have that which to impart to us. Thank you, Father. For time. And as we depart from this forum, Lord God, we ask that you will keep us, guide us, us and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and hoping that you get some information to go to the next level. Okay. Yeah. God bless. We did. Bless thank God. you so much for coming. God bless. Pleasure. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bishop. Are you still there, sir? Guess not.